Hi, it's Allison, and it's time for my top pick of the day. Today it's a children's title called While I Was Away by Waka T. Brown. It's obviously autobiographical because the character, main character's name is Waka. And she is a sixth grader who lives in Kansas with her family. Uh, they are, her family is Japanese American. And uh, her parents, if this takes place in 1984, I should add, her parents decide to send her to her grandmother in Japan for five months of schooling to improve her reading, writing, and speaking of Japanese. They feel that she just doesn't do well enough as she should. Uh, although her family follows many traditional Japanese traditions at home in Kansas, Living in Japan with her somewhat frightening grandmother uh, and some unwelcoming classmates come as a rather uh, major culture shock for Waka. Uh, everything is very rigid. Um, people are expect you to treat other people very differently. There's a very... Um, specific system of rules that need to be followed. And although she thought she spoke Japanese well, and she does pretty well, the writing of language of Japanese and different um, alphabets and different characters is very difficult. And I had no idea um, how many different uh, alphabets and characters that Japanese children have to learn. And they, they are included in the book. Like this is a kanji character. And hopefully you can see the numbers there. To make this character, you have to do specifically each stroke in a certain order or it's wrong. So not only do you not have to know the character, you have to do it in a very strict numbered style so that the character itself is correct and the teachers sure know if you didn't put your strokes in in the proper sequence. So she has to learn her kanji character writing. This is a kanji character um, as well as hiragana, the basic Japanese alphabet. You get a very strong sense of Japanese culture, food, manners, and Maka learns a great deal about herself. Her grandmother seems very forbidding and distant in the beginning, but Waka understands eventually that her grandmother is just very uh, self-controlled, holds herself within herself, but feels very deeply about things. And by the end of her five months, Waka has met me and made some great friends in Japan, learned so much about Japan, the culture, the language, her grandmother, her ancestors, and herself, that she almost doesn't want to go home where she once saw going to Japan as a terrible punishment, she now sees it as a wonderful experience. So I highly recommend it, especially in these times. It's a good way to understand Japanese culture, and she's a great character. So this is my strong recommendation for middle graders 8 to 12. Thanks for listening. See you soon.